current in your program for keeps. What I will do is just read the overview of her certificate. Hampton University School of Nursing Alumni Hall of Fame proudly presents this award of induction to Rear Admiral Sylvia Trent Adams, PhD, RN, FAAN, in recognition of exceptional accomplishments and significant contributions to nursing and the healthcare field. May 13, 2017, Chevelle A. Lott, Dean School of Nursing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dean Lott, Rear Admiral Trent Adams, and members of the platform, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates, family, and friends. My name is Mrs. Tamika Robertson Jones, and it is truly an honor and pleasure to stand before you as the chairman of the committee celebrating the legacy of 125 years of nursing education. Graduates, always remember that you can't know where you come from. I'm sorry, you can't know where you are going if you don't know from whence you've come. Learn our history. Be proud of our history because you are now a part of this history. The committee would like to make special recognitions to those who have supported us with generous donations, resources, time for this commemorative celebration. We would like to recognize and thank the Hampton University Nursing Alumni Chapter, the Talk Chapter of Cayenne Phi, HU Vets grant members, Dr. Faxton Moore, Director of Hampton University Museum, Ms. Moffin, Director of uh, University Archives, as well as the Hampton University Alumni Affairs. We will make formal uh, presentation of gifts over in the museum. I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to uh, acknowledge and recognize Mrs. Lightford, Professor Emeritus, and Dr. Patricia Sloan. Emeritus Professor Emeritus and Nursing Historian for donating their time to ensure the accuracy of the information and artifacts that you will see presented in the museum. Immediately following the pinning ceremony, 
Please join us as we convene over at the Hampton University Museum to continue the historical perspective with the official grand opening of the Hampton University School of Nursing's museum exhibit. The exhibit will be unveiled today and remain open until the first week of August. We will continue to celebrate this milestone through the remainder of the year. We invite you to please stop by the School of Nursing to view some of the historical displays in William Freeman Hall, also known as the School of Nursing. And if you would like to take something with you, we do have commemorative gifts available for purchase in the lobby, and they'll also be available over at the museum as well. So at this time, we are now going to present a brief video which highlights some of the accomplishments that make our school great. The committee is thankful for your uh, time and your support. And without the support of the Hospitality Committee and the 125th Committee, none of this would have been possible. Thank you for your time. Please enjoy. Institution. So, Hampton and Pim was already in their great 
research to get that funding. We're going to see five years of funding, $500,000 a year, $250 with the pen, $250 with the Hampton, to build a collaboration type of research that we could do to promote health and reduce health disparities. came out of that. Even though the funding is gone today, the partnerships and the collaborations and the relationships are still there. Yeah, my greatest contributions. I have been here on campus 32 of the 125 years will be the fact that I've been able to provide uh, grant funding for our students, uh, the Bachelor of Science students, the Master's and PhD students since 2003. And these funds have helped students with their tradition, their books, and also with community activities in terms of going out for their preceptorships. My greatest contribution to uh, I have to do versus school of nursing is to maintain my professional development so that I can be a light at the end of a tunnel. As I think about the three decades plus that I have served at the university in the school of nursing in various roles, I know that my uh, contributions have been not only establishing the endowed uh, chair for research, the legacy left by those nurses in the Hall of Fame. So we are surrounded by everything that should be legacy for us to remember that like we are here. Graduates, I'm sorry, we're still in the honorees. That's tomorrow. I'm graduating day ahead of time. Honorees, you've had the opportunity to hear from um, the acting attorney, the Surgeon General, as well as from some of our faculty. But and I know you are our future. But I think it's also fitting for you to during this time see and meet some of the individuals who developed those paths that were graduates of Hampton University, Hampton Institute, as well as, um, I forgot the name of the school, we've had three or four transitions. Hampton Normal, thank you. So, nurses, graduates, whether you can, you graduated from the baccalaureate, the masters, or the PhD. If you graduate during the time frame that I, I speak of, please, if you're able to stand, stand. If not, just raise your hands. Because I want the future to see the past so that they can understand they too will survive. Oh, first, let's start with 1920 to 1939. Anybody in the night room? No, 1920, 1939. Okay. How about 1940 to 1959? Thank you. 1960 to 
next person that I'm calling for departmental honors is Ms. Jessica Tate. Excuse me, Dr. Terry Guidance. Good afternoon again. It is my honor to recognize those students who have accomplished and have achieved a Master's of Science degree in nursing who graduated in December 2016. I'm not sure if they're here today. We know our graduate students have a lot of things to going on, but if you are here, will you please stand? The Masters. I also would like to recognize and honor those students, graduates I should say, who have achieved a doctorate of philosophy degree in nursing. And if you are here, will you please stay? Congratulations on your accomplishments, and we're always, always willing to uh, recognize any students who have graduated from the Graduate uh, the School of Nursing. If you are here, please stand. And it is my distinct honor and pleasure to recognize and congratulate. 